oh, there's nothing like two divas at war, particularly when it's two blonde TV divas. What I find funny about these particular stories is the fact that, of course, you know, when you ask them independently, it's all about the glass ceiling, sisterhood, standing together united. Oh, behind the scenes. <laughs> I've worked with so many female TV anchors that literally, you some of the stories I could tell you would make your hair curl. What I will share with you is this one particular uh, lady that I worked with, right? She'd come off the shift, you know, on the desk, the news desk. And, uh, you know, they replaced her with the next anchor, as it were. And I'm sitting there because I'm doing the next clip with this particular person. And that lady had left her emails open. <gasps> Yes, where she was attacking that particular anchor who was coming on, who sat in the seat. Oh, you couldn't make this stuff. It was, oh, dynamite, you know. <laughs> and you know when you're sitting there and you could just feel the colour draining off everybody on the floor. Well, let me just tell you, one day when I put all this down in a book, it will be explosive. I mean, it's just fascinating stuff. And uh, yes, both are still working in TV. Both haven't spoken to each other now for mm, over 20 years. No sisterhood there. A little bit like this particular story. Yes, we're talking about the ubiquitous Emily Maitlis and, of course, her fallout with the producer Sam McAllister. But now, another person that she's fallen out with and allegedly refusing to say sorry to. Yes, you see, following the disgraced BBC presenter Hugh Edwards' downfall, a lot of people came out in his defence, basically because he cited mental health issues, the usual stuff, you know, in order to appease. Then we found out that the BBC were lying and they knew far more than they let on and of course the usual thing full investigation heads will roll you know all of this full force of the law never anything happens as I pointed out the other day those losers basically still stay in a job they can say whatever they want and you are paying for that unless you stop paying your BBC TV license that is the problem now, moving forward, Emily, you see, got attacked simply because another presenter at the BBC, Victoria Derbyshire, called her out. And uh, Victoria, you see, was heading the sort of production at that point on Newsnight and covering the story. And what happened was apparently Hugh Edwards actually stated that he was unhappy with the way the corporation actually put out his story. Yes, even at that point, Victoria was having none of it, though, and ploughed ahead. But what was interesting, you see, when you dig a little bit deeper, According to a very well-placed source, as ever we have to say allegedly, Victoria always saw herself reading the 10 o'clock news. This was used domain and, well, it wasn't happening. So you can see the thread there. But now, <laughs> everybody's calling on the fact that Emily Maitlis now should actually apologise to Victoria Derbyshire because, obviously, with time, it's been proven that what she was doing was, in fact, correct journalism. Emily never wanted to back down, of course, as we saw when she fell out with her producer on the Prince Andrew debacle, which both resulted in both ladies coming up with different productions on different streaming giants. So friendly were they and so full of sisterhood were they, they now don't speak. You see, sometimes the stories behind the headlines are far more fun. And as we're recording this, Emily's flatly refusing publicly to say sorry to Victoria. Apparently Victoria is drumming her fingers on the Newsnight desk. It's a developing story. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.